Did you miss me? Well, yeah, I've not been on YouTube for a few days. I was just like, I have kind of run out of some ideas. Um, and I, did, I always have ideas that my um, sister came back from college. So I was just talking to her. And then um, my cat just scratched um, yesterday at me. It's, um, you can see a scratch there. And there's one on my tummy. Like, um, I was like, really? Like, it was really bad. Um, and I was thinking maybe I should film yesterday. I should have filmed yesterday so you could see like I was not making it up because I had a band-aid here. Um, because now it doesn't really look like there's much evidence of a cut, but it really hurt. Um, so I was like, may as well because I look the same in every video. I'll show I'll film with the band-aids on me and then everyone I mean by everyone I mean one person would be like, What happened to you? And I'd be like <laughs> something, my cat did something but yeah I was just um reflecting as they say or um just um taking it in like absorbing the fact that my sister is back and I get to see her and hug her and it's just been so great um moving on though um the there's just some like breaking news that um is about to be determined in a matter of days it actually will be on Tuesday so maybe I'll do a second video on this but um because not many people are gonna know what this is so I'll just um keep it short and sweet even though it's not really that sweet but um basically our Supreme Court Justice has been like doing some really sketchy inappropriate stuff with an associate of his and this he's been charged um, and so the government is making, our state government is making the move to suspend him, which arguably you'd think that's like a good idea, um, because, um, he, yeah, he's done some pretty, pretty gross things that I don't want to get too deep into, but it's mostly also been sexual assault, and like, um, and emotional abuse as well, and stalking and all that kind of stuff. And the thing that I want to point out here is um, his wife, now ex-wife, um, was actually my health teacher <laughs> in um, my old school. So, yeah, if you want to get an idea of where I'm from, this is a really, really, really small town. So, um, um, I really hope that none of those people <laughs> went to school with stumble upon this video or that his ex-wife, she'll, like, I can't imagine how she's feeling right now. She'll be so, so, so embarrassed. I mean, it'd be really unlikely for her to stumble upon this video. She'd have to be really, like, I guess, do a lot of searching. But, um, yeah, I just, she, the, f and I just definitely know it's, um, her because, their surname, his surname is just not really common at all and when I was in class she always used to kind of like brag, I don't know if bragging is the right word but she would always say like, well my husband's a Supreme Court Justice and I bet she's regretting that right now because uh, he has just been charged, so. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, the, ch the time the allegations came out was like exactly like less than a year before before I'd left that school so I was still kind of like coming to terms with you know all this sort of still sort of stuff left over from the last year which is of school which is completely horrible but then I saw that so like on the newspaper and I was like oh damn like um that's I think that's my teacher's uh husband because it says supreme court justice and she loved to mention it like whenever she could that her husband was Supreme Court Justice again she's probably regretting that right now um but I'm not gonna blame her for it because obviously this is not her fault or anything um but I reckon she's probably left the school and maybe even the state like I wouldn't blame her if she just like decided to like leave because it's just so small here everyone knows everyone and uh it's one of the main reasons like why I want to leave this town because um it's just uh you can't, you obviously don't have any privacy and, um, and I guess all the sort of stuffs that come in at the same time as when I started to watch The Good Wife, which is, sorry, my toes that keep getting in the camera, um, the show called The Good Wife, in case you didn't already know, starring Juliana Margulies, I think, so, um, got it right, I got it right, um, I'm 
guessing, but yeah, it's it's a good show so far. It's basically kind of like Law and Order, but um, it's set that about this woman played by Julia Margulies, who is a defense attorney, but then her husband is like sort of like Hunter Biden, and is like charged with corruption and stuff and goes to jail. And so that's kind of like similar sort of thing that like it's happening right now um, in terms of the Supreme Court justice and things like obviously it's a little bit different but in terms of a, a wife having to kind of get her life back or ex-wife or whatever after like such a tragedy or I mean embarrassing event has inflicted on her because it's not so I feel like it's not so embarrassing as for the person who's done it it's more humiliating for the people the family of that person who have to continue living their lives Knowing that they will always be seen as oh, the poor wife of da da da, the poor ex wife of da da da. So, um, my teacher just stayed in my mind while I was watching that. And she was definitely, like, I'm not gonna lie, she's a very eccentric teacher. She, um, s stuck a pad on the, um, <laughs> whiteboard when, because she was our health teacher. So she loved to, like, she's really passionate about, like, her classes. She loved teaching that sort of stuff. And, um, some might call it, yeah, a bit too, like, creepy or something, as much as, as inappropriate as her, her husband, but, um, she, she definitely loved it, the attention, and she loved, um, she was like, um, she even said, like, I'm a show pony, and she was, she was just really, like, confident, so maybe she's still at that school, maybe she doesn't care what people think, maybe she's just, like, still going, good for her, um, because, yeah, she literally yelled in front of us when we were on a school trip. And uh, there was another school there. Because um, we went to um, this, like, we go to year six students go to Canberra. It's, like, part of the curriculum to learn about the government. So we went to Canberra. And there was some other school there. And she just started, because we weren't behaving ourselves, she just went off at us, which is obviously completely understandable. We were little brats and it's, we're even worse now. <laughs> Um, uh, but she, yeah, so she was just like deciding to yell at us in the dinner room with like all the chefs and all the other like public and students are just awkwardly staring. And the other school was just kind of laughing at us and like, yes, I don't blame them. Like, this woman is going off at us and stuff. And, um, so, like, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I mean, I'm not that shocked. It's not like I'm like, oh my god like but obviously it's completely like it's just the person who is representing the supreme court justice is this is how small we are is a guy who was i believe was running for council or the government and now and he obviously didn't get voted in now he's back to his job as a lawyer and so now he's obviously going to be against the government's decision to just suspend this supreme court justice so it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out um, I'll definitely keep you updated if anything really like a bombshell, more bombshells come out in case you want to hear it. If you don't, it's totally okay too. Just make sure to subscribe or, um, don't. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. If you want more weird stories like this, don't click off.